How's it going? Today I am going to be showing you how to upgrade your motherboard. Specifically, I will be upgrading from this Asus Maximus 8 Gene to a Strix Z270G gaming motherboard. They're both by Asus and they're both LGA 1151 sockets. Although, this is a Z170 chipset and this is a Z270 chipset. Now, before upgrading your motherboard, it is strongly recommended that you uninstall any related devices on this motherboard. For example, I will be uninstalling the following. This wireless adapter, the sound card built into my graphics card, the graphics card itself, and I will also be uninstalling the chipset family. First off, I am going to uninstall the chipset family. Just going to take it one by one. It'll go really fast. Don't want to restart your computer. Now let's move on to the AMD audio, basically the graphics card. And now let's move on to the graphics card. Now once you are done uninstalling the necessary things, we can safely shut the computer down. and we can go into the computer. All right, now, when inside the computer, we will want to detach everything that is attached to the motherboard, like the graphics card, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but the wireless card, and of course, the liquid cooler. Now, when detaching the liquid cooler, we can just put this off to the side. Alright, the socket screws are still in there, but we can do that after taking the motherboard out. Now, let's move on to the graphics card. With this setup, there's a little panel that comes off here. Then we unscrew this part. We can do the wireless card while this is still open. And we can set the panel off to the side because we're going to attach it later. Actually, we will not need to put the wireless card back in because this new motherboard already does have a wireless built in. Now we can just push down on the slot to release the graphics card. Just jiggle it a little. And the graphics card is out. Now with the wireless card, it's easy as well. just like that. Now we shall move, remove the peripherals that are plugged into the motherboard, such as this 24 pin, the 8 pin, and everything down here such as the USB control, 
audio control, and of course, the power. Don't forget about the fans. Now we can unscrew the motherboard out. Okay, so here's our new motherboard. It took a while to get the old motherboard out, but here it is. Now, one of the benefits of upgrading from a Z170 to a Z270 is that you will not have to worry about changing out your processor. So we can just simply slip the i7-7700K out of the old motherboard. There it is. Open this up. and slip it right on in. You will feel a little force, which is intentional, and there we go. Now, as for the memory, the memory you do not have to worry about upgrading either because it this motherboard does serve DDR4-2133. So, let's just open these slots. Now, one thing you should know is that they might be the same color, but it does work as a regular um, PCI slot or PCI layout. There's one. And there's two. Easy peasy. Now, the next thing we want to do is put the socket in for the liquid cooler in. All right, I had to get started on putting the socket in, but it was able to go in just like a snap. All right, so before putting the new motherboard in, we have to put this IO shield in first. Make sure it pops into place. Alright, so the IO shield is popped in place. Now we can pop the new motherboard in. Just be cautious when you do. Move all the peripherals out of the way. And now we can screw it in place. Make sure you are discharged while doing this and that you do not screw the screws in tightly yet until you have all the holes aligned. All right, so let's put the liquid cooler in.
All right, I had to get it started, so let me just put the remaining thumb screws in to the liquid cooler. Now we can plug in the little peripherals that go to it. that and that easy peasy then we just plug this into the CPU fan slot All right, now it's time to do the remaining peripherals. All right, it was a little tricky getting the peripherals back in because um, Ace, this motherboard does not come with its little Q connector like many Asus motherboards do. So I'm just going to plug in the power. So here goes the eight pin. and the 24 pin okay the peripherals were a bit daunting so I put the graphics card back in off camera now it's time to get the external peripherals set up so we can fire this up okay so we got the speaker external optical drive and the Ethernet. I'll do the Wi Fi later. And of course, the HDMI to the graphics card. Alright, I meant to plug the graphics card in, but we can fire it up now. Now here comes the fun part. You'll notice that it is loading into Windows 10, but it's going to be saying various things like getting devices ready, or I think that's the only thing it'll say. That's the best thing about Windows 10 is that you can upgrade your motherboard and keep the operating system intact. It's so convenient. See, getting ready. And now it's restarting. And just like that, the operating system successfully loads. And that is how you upgrade your motherboard with keeping Windows 10 intact. Thank you for watching. A lot of people waste time and money because their computer is running slowly. That's why I started Remote Tech Assistance. I like to help people who are aggravated by a slow computer that frustrates you and kills your productivity. Before you buy a bunch of programs or take your computer to the repair shop, how about trying this first? Download my 7 simple secrets to make your computer run faster. It's free, it's simple, and it's safe. Just go to RemoteTechAssistance.com to get the instructions. There is a link in the description below.